But now, Rick, it's time for a segment we like to call Rick's Picks. Ugh. There's some good and there's some bad. <laughs> well, this one's good. And I mentioned at the top of the show, and you very politely said you enjoyed being on this podcast, but the, the alternative was drafting Justin Jefferson. So Justin Jefferson, as we all know now, was the fifth wide receiver taken. Henry Ruggs went 12th to, to Las Vegas. Jerry Judy went 15th to Denver. CeeDee Lamb went 17th to Dallas. And then uh, I would imagine you were quite nervous with the Eagles on the clock at 21. They took Jalen Rager. Uh and still available, Brandon Ayuk, T. Higgins, Michael Pittman, LaVisca Chenault, and, and K.J. Hamler. Can, can you take us through, first of all, how nervous you were <laughs> as you were sitting there um, <laughs> and J.J. was still on the board, especially with the Eagles, and, and then how you came to the decision to, to pull, the, pull, the pl- uh, pull the trigger excuse me, uh, on drafting Justin? Well, the decision wasn't that hard to pull the plug on that one. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, I'm mean, going to sit there like we had a stew over it. It wasn't. <laughs> But I, I would tell you, that was a unique draft because that was the COVID year. So uh, you weren't out scouting games. Um, you know, there was very limited. You can go to a game, but it was like you had to sit that, you know, away. You couldn't get interact with players at all. I know most of the schools were shut down as far as scouts coming on campus because they didn't want the COVID to spread. Uh, it was very limited. There was no combine, I believe, that year. Uh, there was pro day. Uh, so it was very, very limited on uh, what you were able to do through your normal draft process. Um, but the interesting thing about it was when we watched Justin Jefferson, we watched him. His, the year he came out, he was a slot only because they had some good receivers on the outside. And we thought he really excelled, excelled in a slot for a tall athletic receiver. Uh, the year before, he was on the outside and was just – Maybe a good receiver, but not what he eventually ended up being, uh, what he is right now for the Minnesota Vikings. So he evolved. So we spent a lot of time uh, through our draft process. I remember myself and George Payton, who's the uh, GM in Denver right now, actually moved into the JW Marriott in uh, Mall of America in Minneapolis. And we were the only two people in the JW Marriott. And the reason we went there was we were able to gather together uh, with mask on to apply to all the NFL rules. But we had a conference room and we had the bandwidth that all our coaches were different places in the country. All our scouts were all over the place. So we had maybe 15 to 20 people on this conference call, but our technology enabled us to, for me to push out video to everybody's screen and you run the clicker back and forth, so we're all watching it at the same time and discussing it. And I remember Gary Kubiak was a huge, huge fan of Justin Jefferson and thought he was a rare prospect, and, and he's seen a lot of pretty good players, pretty good <laughs> offensive players through his career. So as we stacked through the board, we thought there, you know, we needed a receiver. Uh, you know, we tinkered around, I said, with trading up a little bit, mm. but when you're in a draft, you know, and we ended up just staying there and we had uh, a lot of offers uh, when Justin fell to us. I mean, I don't know how many calls we fielded, uh, but they were really quick phone calls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank so you. Look- Maybe we'll, we'll talk in a second round, but, and you can see that, uh, you know, they had it, I, I believe uh, on, on the, whatever the social media on when he fell to us and, we were sitting there all in our homes and it was uh, the draft. Sometimes it's luck. And I, to be honest with you, and I mean, you can evaluate the player. And fortunately we were right on Justin Jefferson, but you also have to have luck in the draft and have the board fall to you. And that was a scenario where you hear that term. Yeah. The player fell to us uh, and we were fortunate to get him. All right. Let me ask a question. You don't have to answer it if it's a state secret, but how high would you have been willing to trade up for Justin Jefferson? Because these wide receivers started coming off the board right around 12, 13, 14, 15. We, we, we started to get a little nervous when Lamb went to, to Dallas. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and we knew we had our sights on Justin. So we made a couple phone calls, but, you know, uh, there was not a lot of interest uh, in moving up. And the other thing that you really have to be prepared for was after Dallas took Lamb, And I don't remember the exact order, but from Lamb all the way down to Philadelphia, I don't believe there was a receiver that went during that time, was there? 
No, um, uh, it was, I'll tell you real quick here. It was, look at Debo on the stick. So CeeDee Lamb goes 17th, and then Austin Jackson, Damon Arnett, who's now out of the league, Caleb on chase on, and then Jalen Rager at 21, and then, of course, at 22, so, you guys take Jefferson. Yeah, so when you look at that, you see that little run, Denver took Judy, then you see CeeDee Lamb go to Dallas. But when you're deciding whether you need to move up in the draft or you don't need to move up in the draft, Okay, Miami, I think we felt in Vegas and Jacksonville, and we thought the next threat at the receive that would be able to take a receiver was uh, Philadelphia. So that's when you start saying, do we have to trade up above Philadelphia uh, to make sure that we get our guy? And like I said, we called a lot of those teams in front of us. Uh, we weren't able to get a deal done that we felt was a fair deal for both sides. So we ended up just staying there and it reminded me and this is uh for another story is when we sat there and adrian peterson fell to us in the draft uh which is a whole nother uh interesting story on how you don't overpay sometimes and sometimes if you just stay there and the deals that you do that you don't do sometimes are the best deals and we were very fortunate that uh justin did fall to us but if he didn't we did have an option B that we really liked. All right, let me ask you, uh, and again, you don't have to speak in specifics if it's if if it if you don't want to. Were you nervous, number one, about the Eagles taking Justin Jefferson? Well, you're always nervous about it. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, they you talk about about six teams that we were nervous about taking Justin Jefferson. And let's say they had taken Justin Jefferson. Did did you have a backup plan at wide receiver? Or we, do you, or were you guys playing plan. out? You still were going to take a wide receiver, or there's another position you might target. There was another receiver on there that was still on the board that we liked. And All right. I will just, yeah. That, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave, we'll leave the, uh, the viewers wanting more.